Hello class, I'm uh, just posting up a quick video to uh, start to begin to think about wrapping up the course. Um, we're in week 13, you've got your discussion posts due. I just got done looking at your PowerPoints. Uh, overall, they're impressive. The cases that you picked were, were relevant. Uh, I think you brought up some good things. I think your conclusions were solid. Um, some of you apologize for not being really good at PowerPoints, but you know, you, you seem to have mastered it. So I didn't see anything that was really uh, offensive to the eyes or the intellect. So pat yourselves on the back. Those were really good. Um, so this week we have a discussion thing. Um, seen one really good post and a couple other posts that at least you're starting the discussion, but I'd like to see a little bit more depth. Um, this is not the time to pick your feet up and coast. So let's, uh, let's finish strong here. Next week you have your quiz and then you've got your final paper, which is, is a pretty big uh, uh, project. It's gonna devour a lot of your grades. So take, uh, take that with some, uh, some serious salt, if that makes any sense. Um, again, I'm gonna really strongly, strongly, strongly advise you look at that APA Al website that uh, I harp on so much that uh, you go back and click through some of the uh, tutoring videos, the training videos on how to write, um, that you do some introspection. What does this mean to me? How does this impact my community, my church, my school? Um, also take a look at, uh, so what? I mean, why does this topic matter? Why does this case matter? Is this more important in the current political environment, less important than, than the political environment, and why? Uh, make sure you have your cover page, make sure you indent some of you aren't doing that. That's kind of junior high stuff. Sorry to if that insults you, but it is. Um, and then uh, double space and then your references. Let's try to nail down the formatting on that. Um, I, I haven't been real impressed with those, but it certainly isn't the end of the world at this level if you can do it. But I'd be impressive if you could kind of tweak that out and finish that. Make sure you incorporate your in-text citations. Um, the AI thing is an issue for some, not in this course, but in other courses. Um, personally, I don't have a problem with people using it to brainstorm or to come up with an outline, but to uh, cut and paste a uh, uh, AI-generated paper um, is gonna get you kicked out of CCU or any other higher university really quick. So be cautious with that. Um, other than that, I'm available. I don't think we've got any curveballs coming. Um, the Night Watchman thing, it was not in the reading. I did post a video on that. Uh, basically, the Night Watchman is just a very minimalized, very thin, very uh, skeletized form of government that relies on, on uh, people and only looks at government for war, the bare bones stuff that the people can't do. Um, my, my lecture on this is going to be um, you know, since Social Security's passed, since we put these safety nets in place, um, you've seen the communities start to disintegrate. Uh, people are a lot more isolated. They expect the state to take care of things that the church used to do. The church used to be the center and the hub for welfare and widows and orphan children and all that type of stuff. And now a very inefficient, very top-heavy bureaucracy has done that. A very impersonalized bureaucracy has done that. And they've also taxed people out of being able to fully support their communities at this level. So uh, the night watchman approach is, is going to be a lot more community centered, is going to be a lot more streamed, streamlined, is going to be a lot more focused on people taking care of each other as opposed to uh, relying on the government for everything. And if you've ever lived through a natural disaster, a hurricane, an earthquake, and waited for the government to show up and bail you out, then you know. Uh, firsthand that 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 doesn't happen. Uh, it just it's just not there. The cradle to the grave um, government taking care of us uh, is uh, a fallacy. Out of the 41 socialist governments that were in place after World War II, there are three left. And if you want to take a look at Argentina, you can see how socialism doesn't work. But in spite of that, uh, the United States and Canada seem to be rushing headlong into more of a socialist model and and more. Uh, more government intervention and whenever government gives you something they also take something away usually in the form of your freedoms so that's my take on it uh, obviously think for yourself and uh, um, if you disagree with me that's great just have the data um, some of you have conclusions in your in your powerpoints uh, your outline for your paper that I didn't necessarily agree with but I certainly didn't deduct points 
This is not a uh, appease the professor course. This is a uh, think for yourself, think independently and apply the material yourself. And as long as you do that, you're fine. This is, you know, don't, don't, don't try to guess what uh, at least this professor wants you to do. I would rather uh, see some sound, strong arguments that I disagree with than people just trying to uh, uh, appease or feed the monster to get an A. That's, uh, that's, that's poor um, scholarship in my opinion. So with that in mind, I'm going to sign off. Uh, I'm a text away. Uh, I think I've been getting back to everybody fairly quickly. There may be one or two of you that I still got some petting issues with. But, you know, it doesn't hurt to remind me once in a while I am getting old. These hairs are getting grayer and grayer. So with that in mind, uh, my last thing is buy gold and silver. <laughs> it's going to make you rich someday. Um, uh, that's a whole other topic. But it does kind of align with the, nice wa the Night Watchman philosophy and independence and having money outside the system. But that uh, I could spend months talking about and nobody would really care. So I will leave it there. Uh, but do good work. Let's finish strong. And I'm here. If you need something, reach out. Bye.